what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Chance Bishop Show for episode 39 of our MLB The Show 23 franchise mode here on the channel. Max Wagner, he's going to get the call to the big leagues here. Rock number 16, heading to that third base depth. Uh, but unfortunately here, that means someone has to go to the minor leagues. That's going to be Weston Wilson. Wilson making his major league debut not too long ago, but just not has just has not produced well in that time. So we're going to send him back down the double A. Take a look here at the lineup. you got Gunnar, Adley, Kerstad, uh, Torbison, Jackson Holiday, Kobe Mayo, Elijah Green, Max Wagner playing second base here in his major league debut. you like to see that here for the Baltimore Orioles as they're heading down to Arlington to take on the Texas Rangers. The second base for Max Wagner, one of those, another one of those utility types. Falls along with the Westbergs as well as uh, the Weston Wilsons. You know, Wagner, Weston Wilson, Westberg, all players who can play all the infield positions, I believe. Uh, I'm not really sure off the top of my head. I can't remember if Wilson could play first base, but I know Wagner and I know uh, Westberg can as well. Take a look at double-A stats. They're 247 average. That's fine, though. I mean, it is what it is. 247 average. You know, Max Wagner, he's going to add some great depth here to this Major League squad. Michael Kopech on the mound here for the Texas Rangers. 14 starts, 4-4, four four, the 4-17 ERA, 77 innings pitched, 85 hits, a 149 whip, 31 walks, 66 punch shots. Now Gunner leading things off with a drive to center field. And that's going to be the center fielder Cedric Mullins making the catch there for out number one. So one out here, now up comes Adley Rutschman, and Rutschman drives that one deep to left, fastball high outside, and that one is going to clear the wall with ease, a no-doubt shot here. His 19th home run of the season. That's what you like to see there from the all-star catcher, Adley Rutschman. Rutschman, one of the better power-hitting catchers here in the league. That just adds to that total there with 19 now on the season. 420 feet, 103 is the exit velo. Now Kerstead following suit, batting 338, drives that one into the right center field gap. That gets down. One hop stall, almost a ground rule double. Doesn't quite matter, though. Is that still a double there for Kerstad, who's not the fastest runners out there, uh, but his 16th now on the season. Torgerson up now. Torgerson lines that one right to the third baseman. That's going to be out number two right there. Not what you want to see as Josh Jung makes uh, the play. Now Jackson Holiday up, and Holiday puts that one in play. Runner from second, going to round third, and he's going to hold up right there. Big throw from that right fielder. You know, he, he holds up uh, the runner fairly well at third. Kobe Mayo up and Mayo flies that one to right. That one's going to be coming on by the right fielder and that's going to end the inning. Now Jack Leiter's on the mound. Leiter, former top prospect here at the Rangers, was traded for Cedric Mullins. Kind of part of the Felix Bautista trade. It was a really weird trade that sent a lot of prospects to Baltimore for two All-Stars. Now Mullins, the center fielder, leading things off. 1-2 count. Swing and a miss there. That's 95 on the fastball. First punch out of the game there for Leiter. Now Tim Anderson, the DH there. He goes down looking. That's not a good at-bat for Tim. Uh, goodbye, Tim Anderson. His second punch out of the game for Leiter. Following that series, going to be the shortstop, Corey Seager. And Seager, a swing through that high fastball. That's going to be a 1-2-3 inning as Leiter strikes out the side in order. Elijah Green, the center fielder, leads things off here in the inning. He drives that one to left center field. That one's going to be missed by the left fielder. Big jump, just could not get down with it. That's going to be a leadoff double here in the second inning. 15th of the season now for Elijah Green. So you got Max Wagner as he drives that one to left field. That one's back, but not quite deep enough. Everyone's going to hold up on their base. Left fielder's throw was wide. Jung had to come off the back, so probably Green could have advanced, uh, but he doesn't. Drew Jones, the left fielder, drives that one to center field. Uh, that one's back. That one's just shy of the warning track. Green going to tag up. Throw from Mullins going to be wide. And honestly, if he tags up on that first throw, that's an RBI. It's a sack fly right there. Uh, but just did not get it. All right, Gunnar Henderson off now with two outs in the inning. Drives that one deep right field. That one's back over the head of the right fielder. RBI double. Henderson's going for third, and he's going to make it. Throw is to home. And there you go. That's an RBI triple here with two outs in the second inning. Third triple of the season for Gunner. 
Adley, who's one for one, puts that one on the ground. Semyon has it, spins, fires in time to the first baseman. All right, Brian Reynolds, the left fielder's up, and Reynolds swings and misses at the fastball. That's actually a slider right there off the all-speed pitch there. Four straight strikeouts now for Leiter. He's a big strikeout pitcher. Second baseman, Marcus Semyon up, and he goes down. That's the fastball, 96 up and in. Five straight punch outs now for Jack. As we're going to have up the sixth hole hitter, Nathaniel Lowe, the first baseman, who will go down looking at the slider. Six up, six down, six via the punch out here for Jack Leiter. And that's going to be a one, two, three second inning here for the young righty. All right, now here at the top of the third inning, 1 1 count. Kerstad drives that one. A right center field that gets down. Fielded by Mullins. He's going to throw it a second. Throw will be in time. Gunning down uh, the not so fleet footed right fielder. Torgerson up now. Torgerson drives that one down the left field line. That one's going to be over the wall. And that's a home run. Solo shot here. 16th of the season for Torgerson. There we go. First home run of the day. 372 feet there off the bat. 99.5 or just to call it 100 miles an hour is that exit velo. That's what you like to see there from your power hitting first baseman or first baseman who's growing into that power hitting role at least. Jackson Holiday one for one. Can you make that two for two into the gap? That will get down. That's going to one hop the wall. And there you go. Holiday off to the races. He's heading for third. Throw from the cutoff man will not be in time. That's the second triple of the game here for the Orioles. Third of the season for Holiday, tying Gunner now. Kobe Mayo up and Mayo. Ground ball to Seeger. That's going to drive the run in regardless. So nice sacrifice RBI there. It is a 4 nothing game now. Elijah Green, here we go, sends that one into the gap. That one's going to be cut off by the right fielder. That's going to end the inning there. One run does score. That's going to end this inning. Nick Castellanos, the right fielder's up, and that's a grounder to Gunner. A gunner fields it, throws the first in time, and Castellanos breaks up the strikeout streak there as it ends at six consecutive. Hate to see that there for Jack Leiter as he was dealing. Josh Jung, the third baseman, he swings with the big 12 sixer. And there you go. That's two outs now in the inning. Seventh of the game for Leiter. And up comes Jonah Heim, the catcher. The catcher will swing through the changeup. That's going to be eight punch outs in three innings as that's nine up, nine down. Max Wagner looking for his first career hit, drives that one. Dead left field, that one deep and very gone. A second deck home run for Max Wagner's first career hit, first career home run, first career RBI. Way to go, Max Wagner here. 460 feet. 112 is that exit velo. You just love to see that from the young players. Just them coming out and flexing their muscle. Now Baltimore, 5 nothing lead now. Drew Jones sends that one center field. And that's going to be caught with ease for out number one. Kopech doing his best to keep the pitch count relative to it being a 5 nothing game. 68th pitch of the campaign here. That's going to be hit to center field for a base knock here with one out in the inning. A nice one-out single there for Gunnar Anderson, who is now 3-for-3 three three on the day. So let's go, Gunnar. Adley's up, 1-for-2, drives that one into the gap. That one's going to get down off the base of the wall. And Gunnar's going to score with ease all the way from first. RBI double for Adley. And it's now a 6 nothing game, 12th double of the season. And out comes the manager here, and Michael Kopech, he just knows it. Asked the coach, hey man, am I done? Coach just gives him that little head nod saying, yeah, you're done here, kid. I mean, it was a good effort there from Michael Kopech. Just could not keep it together at the end. Yeri Rodriguez, ooh, at 6.05, he ran 28 games, a 2-5 record, 61 innings, 47 punch outs, 30 walks. Right, he's batting 290 left. He's batting 320 against him. I'm not sure that's the pitcher you want to bring out here against this lineup. First batter up, Kerstad gets a base knock. Adley's coming home. That throw is nowhere close to the catcher. And Jonah Heim has to slide way out of the base path for it. Torkelson up, and Torkelson drives that one uh, down the right field line. That one just going to stay in the yard. I mean, that's that was almost a, a two-run shot right there for Torkelson. 
uh, but nothing off of that one. So there's now two outs here in the inning. And up comes Jackson Holiday, 12th pitch of the campaign for Rodriguez. Rounder goes the second for some reason. Don't know why Simmons went to second opposed to first on that play. Uh, but now Mullins. Over with a strikeout, make it over two with two strikeouts on the day. And that's going to be nine strikeouts here so far for Jack Leiter. Tim Anderson, who's 0 for 1 with the punch out, make it 0 for 2 with two punch outs. Now, top of the order, top two guys 0 for 4, four strikeouts against Leiter. Now, Seeger, who's also 0 for 1 with the strikeout, puts this one in play. Foul territory. Torgerson coming all the way in. That's going to be a big fly out to end the fourth. So, 1, 2, 3, go the Rangers. As they're going to be on to the top of the fifth. Mayo drives this one to center field. That's a base knock. There you go. Played by the center fielder Mullins uh, for a leadoff single here. Uh, so Rodriguez out here for a second tour of duty. Elijah Green up and Green drives that one right to the shortstop. Snagged by Seeger. That's that saved a that saved a you know a double maybe. Max Wagner up. Who already has one home run on the day. Ground ball to Young who turns the around the horn double play. That's what you hate to see. So Rodriguez gets out of danger. Brian Reynolds leads things off with a punch out. Reynolds now 0 for 2 with 2 strikeouts. 11th of the game here for uh, the young righty. Marcus Semyon will strike out as well. That's 12 punch outs in the campaign here uh, for the young Jack Leiter. All right, can Leiter get number 13 here? 1-1 one, one count, Nathaniel Lowe. That will be a ball in play past the diving Jackson Holiday. That one's going to get past Elijah Green roll all the way to the wall. That's going to be a two-out double for the first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. You hate to see that one right there. Just not a great overall play you know, by the defense here for Baltimore. Next batter up, Nick Castellanos, who broke up the strikeout streak. He's going to fly out to center, and that's going to end the fifth finally here for the Texas Rangers. So Jones, Henderson, Rutschman do up. Uh, Jones, 0 for 2, leading things off. Puts that one in play up the middle. That's a base knock. He's 1 for 3 now on the day. So a big leadoff single here for the left fielder, Drew Jones. Now Gunnar Henderson, who's 2 for 3 on the day, puts that one in play. Making him a 3, two, a three for 4 on the campaign there. So runners on 1st and 2nd for Adley, who's 2 for 3 himself. Drives that fastball dead center field. That one's going to be caught. Runner from second's going to tag up. And Jones now finds himself at third base. Runners on the corner, one out for Kerstead, who will drive that one right center field. We're looking at RBIs, plural, off the base of the wall. Runner from third scores. Runner from first rounds third. He ends up at home. That's a two-run double there for Heston Kerstead, his 17th double of the season. Torgerson up now. RBI chance drives that low one. Dead left field. That one's over the wall. His second home run of the game. At 17 now on the season. There you go. Spencer Torkelson. That's what you like to see for the young first baseman. 371. A very slow exit velo. Everyone had plenty of time to watch that one leave the yard. Uh, but 371. 92 is that exit velo there. And he's kind of he's kind of surprised that that one left it. All right, Jacob DeGrom, he's out here. 21 games, 3-6 and six so far. Looks like out of the bullpen exclusively. No save, 66 innings pitch, a 540 ERA. 48 strikeouts, 23 walks for uh, DeGrom. Holiday leads things off uh, with a base knock here. So a one out, a 3-1 single. And there you go, Holiday standing on first base here in this inning. And now we have Kobe Mayo up, and Mayo drives that middle, middle fastball. 100 miles an hour of pure juice uh, right to Cedric Mullins in center field, though, for the second out. So two outs now here in this one. As we're going to have Elijah Green looking to keep the inning alive. He drives that low fastball. That one's right to Mullins, and that's going to end the sixth. So the sixth inning finally over as the Orioles blow things open. Jung leads things off. Fly ball down the right field line. Kerstead will... Uh, make it there in plenty of time. Crashing into the wall for out number one. So a big uh, out right there. Jonah Heim up now. And Heim will swing through that fastball. That's two outs now in the inning. That's a Baker's dozen strikeouts for Jack Leiter. Cedric Mullins 0 for 2. Grounds this one to uh, Max Wagner. Who goes to first with it in time. That's a 1-2-3-6 inning. 
uh, for the Texas Rangers offense. Now Wagner leading things off after the ground out his last defensive play. That's going to be a fly out to the left fielder. Not something you want to see right there. Brian Reynolds, great defense out there. You just hate to see that when it affects uh, your guys playing. Now Drew Jones up and Drew Jones drives that middle, middle fastball to dead center field. And that's going to be caught by Mullins right there for out number two. Two outs now here in this one as Gunnar Henderson, who's three for four on the day, will line that one up the middle for his fourth hit of the campaign. He's on first base now with two outs in the inning. Uh, so Henderson keeping the inning alive now for Rutschman, who's two for four himself. Drives that one right center field, and Rutschman has himself his second home run of the day, his 20th of the season, 400 feet of distance. 102 is the exit velo off the bat, and Rutschman and Torgerson combined for four home runs combined. Uh, when's the last time two Orioles have both had a multi-home run game? Let's go, baseball fat checkers. You know this right off the top of your head. Curse that up now. Drives that 102 mile an hour fastball right to the center field, and that's going to end the inning. Tim Anderson leads things off. A grounder to Gunner. Gunner, foul territory, jump throw in time, and there you go. Big out number one here uh, for Gunner Henderson. Corey Seager, who's 0 for 2, make that 0 for 3. That's going to be three at bats, three punch outs for Corey. You hate to see that. That's 14 strikeouts on the day now for Lighter. Lighter in range of possibly 20. Now next at bat, that's going to be a big strikeout. That's going to be 15 on the day now. And there you go, that's a strikeout that ends the inning. So the Orioles lead this one 13 to nothing. Now Torgerson here is up next. That's going to be a ground ball. Knocked down by low. Second baseman Simeon picks it up. Throws that one to the pitcher, DeGrom, in time. And that ends the eighth. That ends the first at bat of the eighth. Now Holiday up next. That is going to be a pop-up. That's foul territory. Jonah Heim. Makes the basket catch, and there you go. That's going to be out number two. So two outs now here in this eighth inning as Kobe Mayo's up, and Mayo will put that one on the ground. Rolls that one right to the shortstop, Seager. And there you go. That's going to end the eighth inning now. So one, two, three, go the Orioles. Semien up, leading off the eighth. Ground ball to Holiday. Holiday fields it cleanly. Goes to first in time, just beating the speedy Marcus Semien. So one quick out there. Is up comes Nathaniel Lowe, who's one for two on the day. Grounder up the middle. Holiday has it. Fires the first in time, beating Lowe by a step. So there you go. Big defensive plays there by the young shortstop. As up comes Nick Castellanos, who will strike out for the 16th of the campaign here for Jack Leiter. So Leiter, there you go. 16 punch outs. Now Elijah Green's up in green, leading off the inning with a single. That's what you like to see. Having your fleet-footed outfielders come up here and, you know, just put balls in play. That's what you like to see. So now he's on first. Next batter up is going to put that one in play as well. That gets down the center fielder. Mons takes a tumble. And Wagner has himself an RBI double. 14 nothing is the score. Now first a double of the career. Uh, Brock Burke out now. Have the bullpen. DeGrom's day is finally done. 24 games, 106 holds, 23 pitch. A 380 ERA. Right, he's batting 267. Left, he's batting 318. The 23 punch outs to 12 walks here for the reliever. Now, first batter up. Chopper. First baseman Lowe's got. Flicks to Burke. Just beating the runner to first. I mean, Drew Jones, he's a speedy guy. Almost didn't beat him out right there. So now runners on third base with one out in the inning for Gunnar Henderson, who will watch ball four. Big walk there. That's the first walk of the day issued uh, by the Rangers. First walk for uh, the Orioles. Next batter up. That's going to be Adley, who's going to put that one in play right there. That's a big RBI single. There you go. 15 nothing. now is the score. Here still with one out in the inning. So runners on first and third here for Kerstead. Full count. Inside fast. Well, that would have been ball four. Uh, but runners just going to move. Runners on first and is going to move up to second. Bases loader now with one out in the inning. Uh, for the very hard hitting. So it's an already two home runs. And he's going to walk in a run. Burke makes it 16-0 via the walk. 
So a big walk there. Now Jackson Holiday, three for five, swings through the sinker. And that's going to be the second out here at the top of the ninth. So two outs now here. Next batter up, Mayo puts that one in play. That one's going to get down. One hop, two hop, three hops to the wall. One run is in, two runs in. Third run coming around. Mayo, a bases clearing double, making this a 19 to nothing game. Now Jonathan Hernandez, he's out of the pen. 32 games, 2-2, two and two, 9 holds, a 33.2 threads innings pitched, 348 ERA, 30 strikeouts and a walk, a 244 average versus righties, 213 versus lefties. Green up, he drives that one to center field. That one's going to be caught, and the inning is finally over here for the Rangers. 19 to nothing. It is time to start digging out slowly but steadily. Josh Jung up, he goes down looking. First out here of the inning, 17th punch out of the game uh, for Jack Leiter. Jonah Heim 0 for 2, will strike out swinging right there on the low slider. Now following Cedric Mullins, 0 for 3, 0 for 4 with another strikeout. There you go, a complete game shutout. An 18 strikeout performance here. Uh, from the young Jack Leiter. You'll love to see that one right there. The Rangers absolutely embarrassed here at Globe Life Park. Only one hit to the Orioles 25. No runs to the Orioles 19. Leiter moves to 13-1. and one, And Kopech moves down to 4-5. and five. So Leiter player of the game, of course. You know, 9 innings, 1 hit, 19 punch outs. You love to see that. We'll text him to Peace out. Rock on. Stay super class. So catch you on the next episode here on the 